Hi, welcome to the Movie Recapper, today we will watch a drama, mystery, romance movie from 2017, titled 222. Watch out, this is a spoiler content video. The movie is about a man's life that is derailed when a mysterious pattern of events repeats itself in exactly the same manner every day, ending at precisely 2.22 pm. Enjoy the video and let's begin. The film starts with a murder at the Grand Central Station, and then a man named Dylan Branson wakes up, and it was just a dream. He wakes with a start and progresses with his routine while watching news about a star called Hamlin that died out 30 years ago, but its light is reaching the Earth 30 years later, and that the supernova will have effects on the Earth and its inhabitants. Dylan is then shown on his way to work, riding a bike and heading to the Grand Central Station to take the train. He works as air traffic controller with a serious talent in visualizing patterns. After work, he goes to a club drinking with his co-workers and receives a ticket to an aerial ballet as a gift for his upcoming birthday. The following day at exactly 2.22 pm, his world stops after he almost causes a mid-air collision of the two aircraft as he was actually attempting to avoid the mid-air collision, resulting in him being suspended from his job for nearly killing over 900 people. The day after he was suspended, he attends the aerial ballet and meets Sarah. They go to a restaurant and start talking, Dylan tells Sarah that his father was a pilot and that he also trained to be a pilot but could never become one as he was afraid of flying. Sarah tells him that she works at the Howard Pace Art Gallery. He also tells her about his being suspended from work, and he finds out that Sarah was on the plane that almost collided with the other aircraft at 2.22 pm. Dylan felt apologetic about the incident but Sarah was instead thankful towards Dylan for saving her life. As they depart, they admit to each other that for a first date they felt a deep connection, and it felt like they had known each other forever. The following day, while on the way to the Grand Central, Dylan notices the same happenings, like siren sound, a woman laughing, construction sounds, a man saying a woman can I help you with. And at 2.21 p.m., he hears the announcement of the boarding of the Miller's Express, sees a businessman reading his newspaper, a couple hugging each other, a line of preschoolers where the last child in line drops something and a pregnant woman under the clock. At exactly 2.22 p.m., the window in the station shatters. He goes to meet Sarah and asks her out to an early dinner. Sarah tells Dylan that she was a ballet dancer student before she landed awkwardly and tore two of her knee ligaments. Cheering her up, Dylan creates an improvised speaker using a paper cup and ice cream cone holder, lifting Sarah's mood, then dancing and kissing. They go to Dylan's apartment and make love. The next morning, Dylan asks Sarah where she got her necklace from, to which Sarah replies that it was from her ex-boyfriend. Dylan asks when is Sarah's birthday and they find out that both of them were born on the same day, April 18, 1986 and they are both turning 30 within a week's time. Dylan suddenly hears a car crash on the road below his apartment at exactly 9.15 am, and he tells Sarah that it was third day in a row that the same incident had happened. Dylan takes a cab with a reckless driver going to Grand Central. As the driver takes the shorter route. Dylan tells him to stop the cab and notices again the same pattern of siren, a woman laugh, construction sounds, and a man saying can I help you with. Dylan then shouts for the cab to stop and this infuriates the cab driver, who turns around to tell Dylan off for shouting at him. Just then, another car hits them both, causing the breaking of the cab's glass windows. Even though Dylan is injured, he goes to the Grand Central Station and sees the exact same pattern of events. He tells Sarah of these repeating patterns, but with different people carrying out the same actions. Sarah does not believe Dylan, but helps to clean his wounds from the car accident. Dylan goes home and starts writing all the events of his day starting from 9-10 am, like water drop, a bug dying, a plane flying overhead etc and realizes that everything has a pattern that's repeating itself. Dylan goes to the gallery looking for Sarah, and realizes that the gallery was having an exhibition with Jonas art piece as the main exhibition. Jonas is Sarah's ex-boyfriend who happens to be the main artist of the gallery at which she works. Jonas has created a light hologram exhibition about the Grand Central Station, 
and Dylan sees that it is exactly like the events that he has experienced the past few days. Dylan assumes that Jonas is stalking him as only Dylan knows about these events. He attacks Jonas, resulting in a brawl and questions Jonas on whether he was stalking him. In the audience is the owner of the Kiefer Gallery and he applauds saying it was a great idea to enact the murder at the Grand Central Station that happened 30 years ago and that he has an exhibit related to it at his gallery. Sarah apologizes to Jonas about Dylan's attack and puts her relationship with Dylan on hold. Later that night, Dylan texts Sarah to beg for her forgiveness. In the meantime, he finds a stack of envelopes hidden in his home. He finds out a man named Jake Ridman had written these letters to a woman named Evelyn. Upon investigation, Dylan finds out that Jake was a criminal, although he was never convicted for his crimes as the police could not find enough evidence to pin him down, while Evelyn was a singer, and they both were lovers. Dylan also finds an article online stating that Jack had shot Evelyn and another policeman, Noah. Down in the Grand Central Station in a fit of jealous rage before being gunned down by other policemen on April 18, 1986, which was the day both Dylan and Sarah were born. Dylan then visits Evelyn's sister, and she gives Dylan a stack of letters that Jack wrote to Evelyn as she could never bear to read them, and shows him the necklace she is wearing saying that it was all she needs to remember her. The necklace is identical to the one that Dylan had seen Sarah wear. She also tells him that Noah, the policeman was taking Evelyn to Millers to keep her safe from Jake and that it seemed that he was also in love with Evelyn. Noah goes to the Grand Central Station to buy a ticket for the Millers Express, but is told that the service was terminated 30 years ago and now the train is known as the Poughkeepsie Express. At exactly 2.22 pm the chandelier crashes to the floor. Dylan connects the evidence and realizes that Dylan was Jake in his past life while Sarah was Evelyn, and that he would kill her at Grand Central Station on their birthday, 18th of April at 2.22 pm. He realizes that the pattern of events that has been happening was leading up to the day they both would die. He tells Sarah this and she does not believe him. As she tries to calm Dylan down, Dylan insists that they both should break up as he would soon kill Sarah, which he does not want to as he knows that they are soulmates. Dylan contemplates suicide which was unsuccessful, while a distraught Sarah looks for Jonas in his apartment. Jonas offers to bring Sarah to Millerst to help her feel better about the breakup. The next day, both Jonas and Sarah's flight to Millerst gets cancelled and they have to go to Grand Central Station to take a train there. Meanwhile, Dylan looks for Sarah and in the midst of it, he breaks into Jonas' apartment and sees that Jonas recognizes Sarah as Evelyn in his past life and that he was Noah. Dylan figures out that Jonas or Noah is obsessed with Sarah or Evelyn, and that Jonas or Noah had a gun with him and races to the Grand Central Station to see her. On his way he attracts the attention of the police and leads them there. At the Grand Central Station, Sarah realizes that the patterns Dylan saw were true and she tries to leave but is stopped by a crazed Jonas calling her Evelyn. He wants Sarah to admit that she loves him, while Sarah refuses just as Dylan arrives at the station. Jonas seeing that Sarah called him there gets enraged, and makes his way towards Dylan with a gun while Sarah sees the events unfold as Dylan had described them to her, and realizes that she is the pregnant woman standing under the clock. Jonas first points his gun towards Dylan, and then points to Sarah, saying that she'll never be yours intending to kill her so that if he couldn't have her neither could Dylan but Dylan shields Sarah just in time but himself gets shot at 2.21 pm. The events from 30 years ago plays out with Jake or Dylan protecting Sarah or Evelyn from Noah or Jonas and at exactly 2.22 pm, Jonas gets shot by the police who have followed Dylan there. Dylan also falls in Evelyn's arms and momentarily closes his eyes having visions of Jake and Evelyn being affectionate. Turns out that the Jake was framed for murdering Noah and Evelyn as the police had wanted to save the reputation of Noah since he was a police detective. He does not die and Sarah then looks at the clock, saying it was 2.23 pm and they managed to survive. Also the dying star, Hamlin mentioned at the start of the movie finally disappeared. In the ending scene, it is shown that Dylan and Sarah are living happily, with Dylan having finally overcome his fear of flying and is now a pilot and Sarah smiling affectionately at their baby in the cradle. 
Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to don't miss our last videos.